The ingredients we will need one pack of rice flour, one and a half bag of tapioca starch, lemongrass, chicken seasoning, mushroom seasoning, salt, eight cups of boiling hot water. Super important to use boiling water and some kind of meat that you guys prefer. Here I'm just using ground pork, but you can definitely use chicken. So starting off, I'm going to pour my rice flour into the bowl and then I'm going to go ahead and use my tapioca starch and just go ahead and just cut it in the middle. Easiest way to open it up. Pour the first bag in. And for the tapioca starch, like I said, we need one bag and half a bag. So here's my second bag and I'm just going to use the top portion of this bag. And you want to save the bottom one just to kind of sprinkle onto your working area later um, when you're rolling just so that the dough doesn't stick onto your foil paper or the dough doesn't stick onto your roller. And here after everything is in the bowl I'm going to mix it really quick so that everything blends really well together. Now we're going to add our hot boiling water. So I'm going to start off with 4 cups first. Alright, so here is 4 cups. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it, give it a little bit, a little stir so that the water is coated around the flour. And then here is the last 4 cups of the water. And it is super hot, super, super hot. So I'm just using a big spoon and just trying to mix the water and the flowers together really quick. And once it cools down a little bit, you don't want it completely cooled down, but just give it about two to three minutes um, so that it's easy for your hand to handle the hotness of the dough. Then you're gonna go ahead and start mashing and just squeezing, um, putting the dough together. And if your, get, your hand is kind of burning up, use a little bit of flour and just sprinkle it onto your hand just to kind of help cool your hand down before smashing again. I find that it kind of works. I mean, it doesn't work a lot, but it kind of helps. So smashing, I'm going to be smashing the dough for about a good 4-5 to five minutes to make sure that all the flowers and everything is mixed really well. This is how your dough should look like afterward, a big huge ball. Here I have two sheets of tin foil paper and I just kind of tape it onto my countertop. And also I sprinkle a little bit of flour on top so that the dough doesn't stick onto it and you will need a roller as well. And I am just breaking apart the big dough into small pieces so that I can work with it. Alright, so once it's broken into small tiny balls, I'm just going to smash it kind of like this, like a flat oval so that I can roll it easily. So it should look like this. And here I'm just going to take my roller and just roll it super flat. You want to flatten it out just like a regular pasta. And here as you can see is my finished product and then I'm going to just start cutting it. Um, it's just like a pasta consistency and pasta shape. So here it is. I like my a little thin, but if you like it super thick, it's up to your preference. Um, I would say this is like a medium thin, and I'm just going to continue cutting all of it. Alright, so once everything is cut up, this is how your uh, copia should look like. And then in a clean pot, we're going to add our meat first. Here I have my pork. Okay, give it a little stir and then if it's sticking to the bottom, add a little bit of water. And we're going to cook this until it is almost cooked. You don't want to fully cook it, but until it's almost cooked. It should look like this. 
and then we can go ahead and add our water. So I'm just using tap water, but I'm just going to fill it up to three-fourth three -fourth of the pot. And once it's back on the stove, add your lemongrass. At this time, add some more of the chicken seasoning, mushroom seasoning, and a little bit of salt. Let the liquid come to a good boil and we are going to go ahead and add in our kopia. Take a couple bundle at a time and shake the excess flour away. Put half of the kopia into the pot and then give it a little bit of a stir so that everything doesn't mix together and then add in the remaining of the kopia. I like my kopia with a lot of liquid so you see here there are a lot of liquid but if you don't prefer a lot of liquid you can tone it down but I suggest a lot just because the kopia soaks up the liquid too. So we are going to cook it for about um, until whenever the kopia is rising to the top like this. Once it flows to the top, it is good to turn off the heat. And here is my plate. And what I normally put in it is just chili oil pepper. And here is my homemade chili oil pepper. And some jalapenos, some green onions, and some cilantro. And I add a little bit of fish sauce for your taste. And you could definitely add pepper pepper and also lime as well but I don't have those on hand at the moment so Well guys, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my kopia and this is how my final bowl looks like. Super yummy, delicious and perfect for a cold, windy day, even a rainy day as well too. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!